My name is Holly. I own a Korean restaurant in a Flatiron district named Miss Dao. Flatiron is inundated with corporate-owned large restaurants. Our restaurant is very homey, mom-and-pop-owned business, which brings unique perspectives to the Flatiron. I was born in Busan, South Korea. My parents owned a kimchi manufacturing business. Back in 2008, when we had an economy recession, I was having a really hard time finding a job, which brought me to New York. My mom and dad moved to New York after I came here. I started the recruiting business back in 2019. My app is called Work Onward. It is for the restaurant owners and small businesses located in New York, so you can easily find local businesses that are hiring near you. My parents have been working in the restaurants and hospitality industries for the past 20 plus years. When the pandemic happened, my parents struggled to find a job. And as a recruiter, I'm always out there, try to help other people find the jobs. And so my husband and I, we took a risk. We ended up opening a restaurant right in the middle of the pandemic for my parents. My parents both work here. They work very hard. Mr. O is really all about my dad. People always call my dad Mr. O. I wanted to build something for our family legacy, for my dad's hard work and sacrifice. Food's been always part of my life. When I cook, I like to share the food with my friends and family. Busan, Korea is a port city. Where there's a lot of um, seafood and the spicy food is popular. So naturally, I like spicy seafood. Spicy squid rice, making kimchi from scratch right here in the restaurant kitchen. Kimchi fried rice, kimchi soup, kimchi pancake, those are always our family meal. I remember my grandma used to make me really good Korean pancake, especially for the Sunday when family gathers. Bang I Lives is very popular in my hometown in Busan. It's a Korean herb from the province called the Gyeongsang. American pancakes usually on the sweeter side. You would have them with the maple syrup, the powdered sugars, right? We as a Koreans, our pancakes are spicy and savory. I also like to sprinkle a little bit of spicy peppers. I actually grow Bangha or anise kisab in my backyard. Bangha is perennial. They're very easy to grow. They have like this beautiful purple flowers. You could grow from the seedling. All you need is just a little bit of water. It's a strong flavor. It smells like licorice. It does taste like herb. It has a lot of healthy benefits. We eat the Bangha pancake all day long, not just for breakfast. We have it for dinner pretty much every day. It's actually really easy to make. You could get Korean pancake mix. Is it different from American pancake mix? I'm going to have a good portion of Bangha leaves and then add a little bit of chai, sweet onions. And all you need to do is generously mix them up. We have a vegetable oil. I will put the medium heat. The heat and the skillet is getting hot. We're going to pour this pancake batter mix with the banga into the skillet. Just give about three minutes to really cook well. And then it will make it crispy outside and soft inside. I'm going to flip it. Give each side three minutes to cook fully. The ratio of the batter is important. Sometimes the people like uh, thick pancakes or crispy pancakes. I tend to like a crispy side, so I add a little bit more extra water. Banga pancake is not really on our restaurant menu, but if customers ask for our secret menu, then you will have it. New York gives everybody an opportunity we don't come from a wealthy background. We have to start everything from nothing. For my family, it's about having a second chance. Thank you. Thank you.